congratulations work so hard forgot how to vacation Yo, what's going on guys? Station The Natural here and today I'm coming at you guys with a new video. So today I'm going to be talking about, in my opinion, whether I believe strength training should be incorporated into your routine for boxing purposes. Just to give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer, I am not a strength coach, I am not a doctor, I am not a any of those things, any of those two things right there that I think are pretty important to make my opinion valid, I guess you could say. I'm really just going off of my personal opinion and my experience with strength training and my overall experience in boxing. And so take my advice, I guess, with a grain of salt if you guys, um, you know, don't come at me and say, oh, you're not a doctor, you're not this, you're not that. Like I said, this is strictly my opinion off of my experience and what I've seen and what I've done. So let's get into the video. For the first two years of my boxing journey, I did no strength training at all. The most strength training I would do would be with like a medicine ball or yeah, that's pretty much it. One of my coaches would have us working with medicine balls. We would be uh, throwing the medicine ball. We'd be moving with the medicine ball. But most of the movements were very, very closely related to boxing movements. So I guess if you were to say with strength training, it would be like strength training, but functional strength training. So it was like very closely related to what we would be doing in boxing. So boom, we would be doing that a lot. We'd be throwing the medicine ball. So we'd be doing a lot of that type of stuff. My first coach never had us doing any type of strength training at all. It was strictly boxing and ab exercises. That was pretty much it and cardio. So it wasn't until 2017 that I started incorporating strength training into my routine because I'd gone on Team USA and when you're on Team USA and you're at the Olympic Training Center, you basically just follow the schedule that they give you and strength training was part of that schedule. So I kind of get both sides and I've gotten to great levels with with and without strength training so I feel like I have a pretty good background and base to uh, give you guys my advice. There are basically two ends of this argument for strength training. One end says do not strength train, there's no reason to, you're wasting your time, just stick to boxing and you'll get just as far with just boxing training. And the other end says if you want to get good enough, if you want to be a top level boxer, you're going to need to incorporate strength training into your routine. In my opinion, it's pretty interesting that people say that you shouldn't add strength training into your routine for boxing because, you know, they say there's the one main argument is that you're going to your muscles are going to get too big and you're not going to be able to be quick enough. You're not going to be able to fully extend your arms, your muscles, your this, your that. It's going to affect negative. It's going to negatively affect your boxing training. And I think honestly that that is BS to the fullest. If anything, it's going to enhance your boxing training if you are doing your strength training correctly. An example is instead of doing deadlifts to, you know, get your personal best and, and PR, how about you do deadlifts for strength and for speed? So you're focusing more on um, quickness and your fast twitch muscles as opposed to just getting weight up there to say that you got the highest weight that you could lift. So I guess the main thing is, in my opinion, you know, because I've gotten, I got on Team USA without strength training um, and I've won tournaments for Team USA with strength training and do I think that strength training really made a difference? Mm, in the beginning, I think not. But now that I weigh, now that I fight at a lower weight class, I honestly do believe strength training plays a huge part in my performance because when I'm losing weight, you know, um, I'm in a caloric deficit, I'm doing a lot of cardio, I'm my boxing intensity is just as high as when I was eating whatever I wanted, you know, it, I need to make sure that I'm not cutting muscle and I'm not losing muscle. That's like the main thing that I guess concerns me when I'm cutting weight is that I don't want to lose muscle. And of course, you know, when you're cutting weight, some muscle may go with whatever weight you're losing. But my main thing is I don't want to cut too much muscle. I want to keep as much muscle as possible and lose 
basically as much fat as possible. If I'm strength training along with all the other stuff that I'm doing, then I'm making sure that I'm training my muscles, I'm working my muscles, my muscles are growing, and my fat is being lost as opposed to muscle. Another reason why I like strength training is because it kind of switches up the training aspect of training. So if all you're doing is going into the boxing gym or going into cardio, like running the track and stuff like that, it gets pretty boring. So strength training kind of adds another element to your training. And like I said, if you're doing it correctly, it is 100% going to positively affect your boxing as opposed to negatively affect your boxing. The myth that, you know, your muscles are going to be too big or, you know, your arms aren't going to be fast enough or whatever the case may be is just dumb. That just means that, you know, you have people that are training incorrectly. They're training to build muscle as opposed to uh, supplement their boxing training. So there it is guys, that is my opinion, that's my view. Like I said, I have done both. I have trained boxing two for two years full time without strength training and I've trained three years full time with strength training and for me i honestly love strength training if you guys out there are looking for a strength and conditioning coach or a strength coach to supplement your boxing training these are the things that i want you guys to look for because before i selected my strength coach that i've worked with recently for the olympic trials I made sure of some very important things before I worked with him and the, the very first main important thing that I want you guys to consider before choosing your coach is have they ever worked with a boxer. I think that that is very very important because boxing is a sport like no other really. Um, you have to, you really really want to make sure that you're training correctly whether it be functional training and what I mean by functional training is you're basically doing things that are very very related to your boxing training so for example maybe you have weights on your ankles and you're just standing in your boxing stance and moving around the ring I guess that would be something like functional training now me not being a coach keep that in mind right here right now me not being a certified strength and conditioning coach keep that in mind right here those are probably not exercises they want to do but you kind of get the gist that i'm saying get the gist of what i'm trying to tell you from what i understand functional training is when you're just doing like strength training but closely related to boxing moves that you would be doing now when you're doing direct strength and conditioning it would just be stuff like bench pressing you know deadlifting um kettlebell stuff um like literal strength training like lifting weights bicep curls all that stuff you want to make sure that your coach has either worked with a boxer or has been a boxer himself knows boxing so that they can really really tailor this workout their plan for you uh, correctly. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. I really wanted to just talk about this because this is actually a question that I do get often when people ask me about my routine for training and, and training camps and you know everything that has to do with my training. I get that question a lot is whether I like to do strength and conditioning or not, whether I think it's beneficial or not. And so here's the answer for you guys. I really hope that this brought some type of value to you. If you guys did like this video then go ahead and give it a like. If you guys are new then go ahead and subscribe because I make new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.